All right, you guys, I have another project today. So I had to do the um, rear bricks on my car. And long story short, I did do an okay job. Um, everything went on there fine. I got aftermarket pads, but here was the problem. And let me get a flashlight for this. Okay. So I purchased aftermarket pads right here, right there, aftermarket pads. And the problem with aftermarket pads is that they're not in perfect fitment. What does that mean? You notice that this piece here, it's really close. So that's not the way it's supposed to be. I think there's supposed to be a little bit of gap, at least two to three or maybe even four or five millimeters between the two. And what happens is it starts to rub. So I have to redo this job, the whole thing again. Now, it's not that bad because it's actually two pins and a clip. As you can see here, the Brembo brakes is, there's a pin here. You see it right there? There's a pin right there. And then there's a pin right here. Two pins and then there's a clip. And that, it comes out. So I'll show you guys what's up. But furthermore, I want to show you the box that only the rear pads, the way that NSX and Acura packages it, it's pretty gnarly. You gotta check it out. So this is the package that the brakes came in. Only the rear, not to mention. So check it out. I'm gonna open it up. I'm not gonna tell you exactly how much this thing costs, but let's just say that traditional brake pads run around, let's just say $100 a pair. For, for each wheel, okay? Let's just say that uh, you can buy multiple pairs. With that being said, look at the nice padding. Now, I did open one set already. Look at the packaging that comes in. Airtight space foil, okay? So needless to say, these pads are expensive. But at the end of the day, guess what it still reads? Honda. Honda, my friend, Honda. Okay, so I did cut one of them open already. Space full, airtight. And by the way, if the dealership zip these open or cut these open, they can't be resold. And during the pandemic right now, it's pretty hard to get them. So here are the, then it comes a regular packaging. Then these guys come in, voila, these pads. Now, these pads are, Pretty gnarly for the fact that um, they're not, I didn't get carbon rotors, so they're not the super expensive ones. I think they, these are the semi-metallic and they, the other ones would even cost more. But these are one side of the pads. Let's open up another package. I think these are the, these will be the pads again, but I'll open these up for you, okay? Another set of the pads. It doesn't tell you left or right, but I think you can pretty much figure out if you know how to change brakes, you can kind of figure that out. Um, these sounds like the pens. And oh, the pens and then the chamois, the shimmies uh, for behind the pads for the vibration. So needless to say, we're gonna have to spray some brick lubricant on those. Get these things out of the way. I wonder what this is. Ah, the lube, and also the, they give you lube, and they give you a new set of brackets. So I guess that's pretty nice, right, to do that. Um, but overall, here's the entire set. So it comes with two pairs of brake pads for the rear, the spring, the lube, pens, rear brakes, shimmy guards, and then brand new pens. I might as well tell you how much this was. Um, these are $600 for these brake pads. So with that being said, um, let me show you how to take it off, okay? And yes, I did pre-release them. 
um, and torque them. And traditionally, by the way, the specs for these wheels are 125 pounds. You have to be kind of careful because you're gonna, if you don't, if you're not careful, you scratch the um, the calipers. Always like to have little buckets like these so I don't lose things. Okay, so that being said, you can see the two pins and then the clip. I have to be careful because I don't want to scratch up the, you notice that line it up, easy bang. So that's it. And then from here, a little bit more love tap here. This is a good size because in theory, I can just bang it right through, right through the uh, little hole to pull this out. Now at this point, it's actually pretty easy to wiggle out. You just need to put some pressure on the pin here and look, just like that. pins out. With the spring out of the way, this second piece should be pretty easy to come out also. So again, two pins and a clip. Okay, these are the brakes I didn't, I, I bought the aftermarket ones. If you have strong hands, you can kind of also wiggle them out yourself. I'm going to use these pins to help me out a little bit to guide these things out. There you go, that's one out. And now I'm gonna get the other one out. Push it back a little bit more. Use the pins. Gonna wiggle them out gently so I don't scratch the calipers. See, that's it. Now, here's the problem with these things. So here are the OEM pads, and this is the aftermarket. In theory, they should be about the same, but you notice that after you align the holes, it's literally maybe four, about two to three millimeters off, and that's what's rub, causing the rub. So aftermarket pads, until they fix that, here we go, I'll line up the holes for you right here, and you can see it from, uh, let me do it again. I line up the holes here. Still not lined up all the way. To give you a better assessment. Literally. They need to shave off about, I would say about three to four millimeters. Once they shave them off, like right to here, you can tell, then there'll be no problems. These pads can be used. I'm gonna take it to someone to go get them sandblasted and nibble these out. Uh, while these aren't expensive pads, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. If they don't give me a refund, I still want to use them. So, and then just do the reverse order and put everything back together and you're good to go. So, that's just a quick shot of what I have to do for this car. Um, stay tuned. Uh, I know it's been a while, but everything's been good overall. Hopefully, everyone start coming out of the pandemic and have, you know, start enjoying life once again. Um, I just got maintenance to do. Till then, peace out, subscribe, and be good. Peace.